G'day guys, I'm Tintam here. Today we're going to learn about the camera imager on how to make your photo, your renders look like Instagram hits. So, how do we do it? Well, that's very simple. Select your camera body, go to the rendering pool, and let's click on the rendering. And the camera imager is under the Maya settings. It's under the Maya camera and it's here, Octane Imager. Let's just move these down, shall we? So here we have the exposure. Now like I said, um, the the slides in this are way overpowered. I do not know why it's like this. But uh, let's we can change the exposure to 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Uh, we have the f-stop, so 0 0.5 will if you know the photography, your photography, hang on, ah. okay, so yeah, one's the brightest, two is pretty good, 1.2, that's pretty good, the ISO, and the gamma that most people hate. One of the reasons why you never use a DSLR. Um, we also have your color preferences right here. So Afghan, we have a uh, CT. Um, all the nice color varies that Octane is known for. And let's go back to the normal one. We have Vig Netting. Uh, this one actually acts appropriately to the slider, thank God. Like, uh, we should, when you get the code for the slider and place a free place for every single one of them. So, uh, that's your vision netting. We have your saturation tool right here. And we will have, we'll also have the hot pixel removal, which is very handy. We have pre multiplied alpha. Uh, you can find some good use to that. Display minimum samples is pretty much delaying your rendering. I do not know why people want it for. And dithering along with white saturation and white balance. Uh, to which is very useful um, for uh, certain scenes. Uh, that's pretty much your Octane Imager have fun with it. I would like to see your Instagram stylish images and I'll see you next time.